Hey guys, how's it going? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about High Tide. High Tide has become top revenue generator uh, MJ company in Canada and the stock. I, I made a video over the weekend. Uh, so, uh, if you bought the stock on Monday, um, you would have made a pretty penny right now. Because it went up to dollars and twenty cents. So did that there. It might go even higher than two twenty. Who really knows? I have no position in high tide. But all I have to say about high tide is it's kind of pathetic that canopy growth can beat high tide in revenue because canopy growth got five billion dollars. Five billion dollars from who? from a uh, constellation brand and they can't beat high tide in revenue high tide is uh Eb ebitda adjusted profitable profitable of 4.7 million dollars i'm surprised sundial growers is not uh profitable because it's 93 i mean uh because they own uh nova cannabis no, and they are also a grower themselves. I'm surprised they don't generate a ton of re revenue and profitability. Uh, and High Tide is doing extremely well. Roger Grove is a good CEO. He he's a good businessman. He knows how to run a business. Uh, there's that's rare. That is really really rare. You know how many companies fail? Look at that. Aurora failed. Nova. You know they combine with Sundial. Hexo failed, Fire and Flower failed, Organigram failed, Canopy failed. So, like, all these companies are failing companies, except for High Tide, which is funny. Uh, I have no position. I'm just praising High Tide because they are doing extremely well right now as a business. Uh, the only reason why I am hesitant at all to invest into high tide for the long term is because I am still fearful of a stock market crash and I still think that a, mar a stock market crash is coming and that's why I am staying away from the markets that's just my personal opinion uh, not financial advice uh, if you want to invest into high tide for the long term it's up to you anyways thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.